Now let's talk about KT over V urea. Urea clearance is the preferred method to assess hemodialysis dose and adequacy. KT over V urea measures hemodialysis adequacy in terms of fractional urea clearance. It is a mathematically computed dimensionless ratio and has three components. The first is K, which is the dialyzer clearance of urea in milliliters per minute. That is, how many milliliters of blood can this dialyzer clear of urea in one minute? Second is T, or time on dialysis in minutes. KT equals dialysis dose, that is total volume of blood cleared of urea during the entire treatment session. The third component is V, or the volume of distribution of urea in milliliters, which equals the total body water corrected for the ultrafiltration volume during a hemodialysis session. Total body water is approximately 60% of the estimated dry weight in men and about 50% in women. Now let's focus on K, which is the dialyzer clearance of urea. That is, how many milliliters of blood can be cleared of urea in one minute as blood flows through the dialyzer. It would make sense that K would depend on the blood flow into the dialyzer, the dialysate flow into the dialyzer, and the dialyzer membrane characteristics. In high efficiency dialysis, K is typically more than 210 milliliters per minute. Membrane characteristics of a dialyzer are reflected by the dialyzer's KOA, where KO is transfer coefficient of membrane for solute, in this case urea, and A is the surface area of the membrane. Therefore, if we could somehow raise the blood flow and dialysate flow to extremely high levels, KOA would then be the maximum possible urea clearance that can be achieved at infinite QB and QD by that dialyzer. KOA urea determines dialyzer efficiency as we have learned in the preceding sections. KOA depends on the dialyzer design, dialyzer membrane thickness, and pore number. A dialyzer design that maximizes contact between blood and dialysate columns, as well as a thin dialysis membrane with high porosity, results in a higher efficiency dialyzer with a high KOA typically more than 800 mils per minute. Therefore, ultimately, KT over V urea for a hemodialysis session depends on the volume of distribution of urea, time on dialysis, dialyzer blood flow rate, dialysate flow rate, and dialyzer KOA. It is important to note that the KOA provided by the manufacturer is based on in vitro studies and is 20 to 30 percent higher than in vivo measurements. Also, the prescribed blood flow and dialysate flow may be lower than the delivered values due to various reasons such as calibration errors, etc. Therefore, the delivered KT over V is often lower than the prescribed KT over V. We will learn in the upcoming sections how we measure KT over V urea and what our goal levels should be.